The deadly crash of a military plane in Savannah, Georgia. Several crew members killed. The Air National Guard C-130 cargo plane suddenly in a nosedive exploding into a fireball as it crashed onto the highway. It's Highway 21, in fact, near the Savannah Hilton Head Airport. The only part of the plane appearing left intact is the tail section. Investigators racing to the scene of the crash to try to figure out what caused this. And ABC's Steve Osinsami leads us off tonight from the scene. This was the view from a surveillance camera today as a military C-130 fell out of the Georgia sky, nosedived into the ground, and burst into a ball of flames and smoke. There lies a military jet crashed across both lanes of the road, black smoke. The massive cargo plane missed crashing into the Savannah International Airport. Holy All right, time to get out of here. It came down over busy roads and train tracks nearby, knocking out power to the area. As far as we know, there were no cars hit in this crash. It is an absolute miracle uh, at that time of day uh, and that intersection. No drivers on the ground were hurt, but authorities report that nine service members on board are dead and were on their way to Arizona, flying a 60-year-old plane into retirement. Anytime we lose uh, any of our brothers and sisters in arms, um, it's, uh, it's devastating and it's um, and, and something we never like to have happen. Roads in and around the Savannah airport are still closed tonight and could be closed for weeks as military investigators try to figure out what went wrong. Because a four engine airplane dropped out of the sky in a bright blue sunny day, they're gonna be looking at mechanical problems. This is a real mystery that something so reliable could have had such a catastrophic ending. The plane belongs to the Puerto Rican National Guard and was a lifeline to the Caribbean during last year's devastating hurricane season, delivering food and generators to families in need. So let's get to Steve Osinsami with us live from the scene. And Steve, we know authorities just moments ago confirming nine are dead. We know they're still working to make the crash site safe so that investigators can actually get closer. That's right, David. They're going to work on that tonight. And just to give you a sense of the lay of the land, behind me is the crash site. To my right is a gas station. Had this plane fallen just a few feet in this direction, we could have been talking about an even bigger explosion. David? Steve Osin saw me leading us off tonight. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.